hi guys welcome back to the channel and a new video so i thought the day was over i'm not going to spoil whatever video it was but i've actually been videoing a, doing a video all day today and chris has been busy half doing one while i haven't been there so just relaxing on the city 707 at night and just had a message come through on instagram with a lovely little car uh mitsubishi colt convertible 19,000 miles it is an old car but 19,000 miles it got my attention it's very very cheap so i just run chris and said mate pull my truck out the yard i'm not going to have time to go this week so i'm going to go now and get it well, i've already done a long drive today but so i'm going to head to the yard jump in my truck and we're going to head straight there and get it but guys me and chris nearly did get caught out recently so we are adamant all the time now. We're going to continue to do it as well. Let's do a quick car vertical. That all checks out. We're going to get it. So we punch the reg in, guys. It comes up. Mitsubishi Colt. Mileage okay. Theft okay. Never been involved in any accidents. Not been used for private hire. Spotted activity was manufactured 1st to the 1st, 2008. Registered in the United Kingdom. And down a little bit further down you've got all the mot history there and there is a couple of advisories on previous mot's there's an one ownership change there on the 8th 2017 and i think well these are mot inspections here 9th 2017 we scroll a little bit further down and we got that handy mileage graph there and as you can see everything seems to be in order last mot'd 19,000 887 miles we scroll a little bit further down and you can see there all of the countries that this check was performed in and it all looks really really good so we will be going for that car just before we do go guys i want to show you a quick example of what one would look like if there was so the example we're going to use today is this opal astra and as you can see mileage okay theft is highlighted there in amber now we also found record found 8th 2021 outstanding finance agreement and you can clearly see there reported stolen on the police database in the united kingdom guys i want to thank car vertical once again for the continued support on the channel guys to use this check with a 10 percent discount use the link in the description or the pinned comment don't forget right at the bottom of this check there is nine helpful tips and tricks that you can use when purchasing your car And just like that, guys, 8.30 at night. Whereabouts are we? Ashford, Middlesex. Ashford, Middlesex. Here's the little car. 19,000 miles. Do you know what? I, can't, I don't know why I'm even showing everyone. It's pitch black. Shame. The old seat's a bit worn out, but we can do something with that, I'm sure. Yeah. But lovely little car. And it's got... Is it this one? That window regulator's broken. This one, yeah? Yeah. And this one doesn't work, but right. I don't know why. So it's going to need two window regulators. I don't know if this one's not working because that's not working. Right, okay, but the roof won't come down because of this. Because this is a little convertible car, yeah. guys. You want to try and talk to on there? We'll see more in the morning. Let's get it loaded on the truck. I am knackered. I want to go to bed. Let's get it on. hanging about tonight guys we've got that loaded on strapped up we're just going to fill out the log book and then we're ready to go unfortunately when you do it online which we normally do it's 7 a.m to 7 p.m only and like i just said it's well gone 8 30 now so we'll pick up in the morning back at the yard it's actually the next day guys whatever you do hopefully no one copies what i did there i actually bought this car in the middle of the well it wasn't the middle of the night but it was pitch black and I never got to see it. Thankfully, it does look okay. Right, mate? What are you <laughs> Little Peach. Right, guy reached out to me on Instagram. I just. Yeah, 19,000. Do you want to run it straight? Yeah. 
Do you want to run it? Do you want to run it straight off? Sure. Yeah, keys there, and we'll bring it inside, and then we'll uh, we'll have a look, and I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Swiss watch. Probably because the door's open. Guys, we'll get that unloaded, have a little swap around, get it in the workshop, and then I'll explain what's wrong with it. But it ain't a lot. And like Chris just said there, 19,000 miles. What a lovely little car on a 2008. So, guys, if you watch that transit van video, the white 66 Reg one, I actually went and got this car when I got home that evening. The guy reached out to me on Instagram and said that it was for, it was actually his daughter, said my dad's got this for sale, it was my granddad's, he's given up driving, there is a problem with it. So, 19,000 miles, Chris, flick that logbook over, I'm sure it's one previous, it's not actually a one owner. One, one, former. one former keeper, yeah, so, he's had it for quite some time. Now the, he said to me, this window won't open, Sorry, Chris, it's the first time you're hearing it. I haven't even told Chris. So apparently that window won't open, which is preventing the roof from coming down. But I've also noticed that this window's not working either because this is the window I open to drive the cars up on the back of the truck. That doesn't open either. So it, they're probably both related. The chances of the motors packing up at 19,000 is... And I mean, it come from an older gentleman. He probably didn't have the roof down to be fair. So guys, basically, I'm actually going to leave Chris to have a little play with these windows because I'm off for an MOT in another vehicle. So I'll leave you in Chris's capable hands and fingers crossed we can get this one nailed and straight out the door. Did you see the driver's seat? Yeah, it's fluffy, isn't it? Yeah, it just wants, Claire's got one of these little bobble removers. Yeah, Maybe I'll bring, I'll go, yeah, I'll, for the jumper, I'll grab that and we'll get all that off. But I'll just check the fuses to start with. Yeah, go through the fuses and then etc etc i'll leave it with you mate yep. well, i don't know if it's going to be that easy but there we have 20 amp fuse i don't know if you can see that blown and that is that one in there third row up second one in third row up second one in number 27 electric window so let's get another fuse in there hopefully we fix that so, I've replaced the fuse and that didn't make any difference at all. So I've removed the relay there. And what I've done, I've actually removed both window relays, swapped them left to right, and the left window still works. So nothing wrong with the relay. But you can see on there a little wiring diagram. And if I focus in on that, so you can see there, the actual switch side is three and five. So if we look, I don't know if you can see somewhere, they're numbered. You can see the numbers there, three and five, three and five. So if we now bridge those with a piece of wire, that should operate the window motor. But as there's a blown fuse, my guess is we probably have either got a jammed window regulator or a faulty uh, faulty regulator. But we'll bridge it and see if anything happens. So I've bridged that relay with a piece of wire. There we go. And that didn't make any difference at all. So I guess take the door panel off. There we go. And have a look, see what we find. And we found something quite obvious really a piece of timber wire tied I don't know if you can see but that's to that's holding the window from dropping so the window regulator looks like it's toast and that's why the roof's not operating because it needs to drop the window and a micro switch will register that before it'll let the sequence of the roof operate that makes sense and when I had a closer look you've got a spare plug there a bolt missing there and no window motor so someone's had a little play 
and removed it at some point. So not a lot more we can do with that at the moment. So while I was out there, guys, you see what Chris done. And unfortunately, this is going to have to go on the back burner until we buy some bits for it. Because really, we only want to do one video on this, don't we? Do really? Yeah. So. It's all MOT, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, this is a, quite a recent MOT, I think. Yeah, it's next year. This is all that was inside that door. Everything else is missing. Yeah, no cables, no gearbox, no motor. All completely gone. All gone, yeah. Hmm. So that's a bit... Bit, that's an extra bit. <laughs> bit of firewood. So that's a bit naughty, but oh, I'm not going to lie, that's not the first time I've actually seen that, and probably not the first time you've seen oh, it either. Yeah, I see it, didn't oh, it? it did, yes. The old Range Rover actually had a piece of wood holding up one of the back windows. So, yeah, we'll put this on the back burner, guys, and we'll pick up as soon as we got the parts for it. But I did just have a little brief look on eBay 500 quid. And it didn't have a motor on it. That was just the mechanism. So, up, yeah, I think we'll be buying a second-hand door complete from somewhere. Or a whole car. <laughs> yeah, or a whole car. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, because we won't be paying that. Because, guys, I'm not going to... In fact, I can just say the price, can't I? It was 480 quid. Um, it was 500. I did chip him 20 quid. A bit of diesel to get up there and get it. But it wasn't an expensive car. But a very nice car. So it would be a shame, eh? Rare, I think. Very rare, yeah. But we we'll get there in the end with it. Right, anyway, let's move this Pop out. Down to the old second home, guys. See if they've got a window regulator. Look at that machine. Every time I come, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Apparently, that's like a aggregate plant. They put all the, the big rocks in there and it breaks it down into like type one or finer grade, whatever. But yeah, huge. And this yard, Ken Autos, used to actually there's a gate there and it used to go right out the back there and that's probably about another four acres and that's where all the salvage used to be stored so anyway i asked about a mitsubishi colt he said rob there's only one here and it's in the woods i said you got no woods here he said yeah we've got a little area that we call the woods he said and i'm sure that car is right smack bang in the middle of all the brambles so Andy is going to come down with a forklift and try and dig it out, but apparently right over there in the corner. Let's get over there and have a look. Hopefully it's still here. He said he can't even, he's been here so long, he couldn't even remember what colour it was. Oh dear, yeah, it is getting a bit wooded down here. Uh, Mercedes that is, isn't it? Guys, look at this. This is bad, isn't it? I can't actually see it, guys. I'm going to have to try and find it and then cut back in. Otherwise, we're, uh, I could be wandering around all day. Nice little challenge there for Chris. Can he make this work? It's out of a two-door car. Our car's a two-door. Let's see how we get on. Let's go back to the yard. So, guys, it is actually quite a few days later. And Chris has done been doing loads of investigation on this. And would you mind just explaining, Chris? So, those two wires there that well, you've firstly, bridged. the regulator you got didn't fit. Yeah. Uh, that You couldn't do nothing with yeah, it at all. Plug. Completely different yes, because this yes. one's actually got the roof switches on so the window the switches. different, yeah. So... These two wires here need to make a circuit yep. to tell the car that, that the window's that, down. That window is down and then it can move on to the roof. Right. Uh, I guess there's a bit of a safety. The windows have to be out of the way, don't they? But it's not all bad news, Chris, is it? Well, As you it's not. With that bridged in there... Chris has got all the windows to shut. Uh, to open, rather. What a cool little car. It don't suit you, sir. It's a bit small, but he's got it working. That was the main thing, really, knowing whether that roof was going to work because before we go and buy one of them, because the cheapest we could find one was about 400-odd quid. 
it's just started raining, typical. We've been talking about doing this for the last 10 minutes. What's that beeping? Just because the roof's open. I guess so. Yeah. That's it. Well, and then you have to lock all these. So, yeah, you have managed to now, really, you've narrowed it down. It just needs a regulator. Yeah, but it's weird. He said that one was... I mean, the guy was completely honest. He obviously doesn't know. Someone has had a play. The blown fuse is a little bit of a red herring. Yeah. Because originally I thought it was fused left and right. Yeah. But it appears what it is, that it's fused front electric windows, rear electric windows. Oh, I'll so see. Right, okay. So fuse wasn't letting that one go down. Right. So Let's go round that side. So yeah, they've all got to be down. Yeah, so that fuse that was blown was stopping that one dropping. Yeah. And that one dropping. Right. Which wouldn't let the roof open either. No. So there was like two faults really. So I think someone had messed about with this and they was right that that was, but it would have never fixed it with a blown fuse. No. Anyway. So we're quite, I mean, this is a lovely, lovely little low mileage car, isn't it? Yeah. What's it done? Nine, 19. 19,000 miles. And the inside yeah, of it, corn, it... Yeah, the inside is actually like new. Apart from that little bit on that seat. But like I said, Claro's got a really good little bobble remover. And you run it over it and you'll never tell. Ooh, yeah, it's, it's got all the service pack with it. Everything's there for it. It is a nice, smart, up-together little car. And I think that it's going to have a reasonable value. So yeah, we can now... Like that is too dear, but... We're gonna. We're probably gonna leave this a bit on the back burner because we ain't paying five hundred quid for one of them, are we? Right. Let's get it put away then. Just really, because we haven't got a great deal of room at the moment. The workshop's full up with another project. We got quite a lot out in the yard. Chris said, in order to get that window back in there and build it up, you'd have to build it back up to leave it in there. So it's pretty pointless. We might as well put it out of the way. We we haven't really well. We've got nothing to go in the booth for no. for a while, have we? So it's going to be out of sight here, and um, it's going to be safe. It can be put back together there when we get a new one. It can, can't it? We get a couple of people said actually, Chris, don't shut those doors yet. You wouldn't be able to paint a car in the. Someone actually commented, "Why don't you paint your own cars?" And someone well, said, "I know, oh, yeah." And they said, "You won't fit a car in the booth," but they, you don't realise how big it is. I mean. Stand down there, Chris, and then, and then turn facing me. It's quite big in here. What did you paint in here? The yellow Lotus Elise? Yeah, yellow Lotus Elise. You painted quite a lot on the grey Lotus Elise that you sold me. Did you do? Yeah, you put a rear... No, I've been painted that. Oh, you put a rear clam on it. Yeah, but... There's well, plenty... I think what the last thing in here was... The There's... Cherry picker. Oh, yeah, yeah, you painted yeah, that. So... Yeah. There is plenty, of, it's, this is not a huge paint booth, but there's plenty of room to get round a car, especially little cars like this, isn't it? It's a there? bit tight if you're doing it, always paint the bonnets hanging up. Yeah. So it's a bit tight if you've got panels and like bumpers on stands. The other thing just... Two hits. Yeah, oh yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah. The other thing I do just want to quickly bring up while you're standing here with me, because I keep seeing the comment over and over again. Chris can clearly paint. Why don't Chris paint the cars save you a load of money? I've actually replied to all of those comments saying it would actually cost us money. And I'd be right, wouldn't I? Because painting... Get someone to do what I'm doing. That's right. I'm that's right. Painting all, is yeah. too time-consuming and it is best left to the professionals. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope that answered a couple of your questions there, guys, in the end of this video. So I am really, really enjoying myself at the minute. We always enjoy ourselves anyway, but... We got some cracking projects on and guys, literally, I don't know what day you're gonna watch this. I don't wanna get into it too much, but the yard is stacked out. We've got, we've got probably eight or nine vehicles out there. So we've got some lovely upcoming content. That little Mitsubishi, it was a spare of the moment thing, but look at the mileage on it, 19,000. I mean, that's gonna be a bargain when we sell it. But it's a shame, really, because it probably would have been a lot more of a bargain. But we haven't actually found a window regulator, a mechanism for it yet. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we do find one. I need to really go online and look for 
if one's breaking. Guys, if one of you are breaking one, or you've got a window regulator for it, reach out to me on Instagram, send me your number, and uh, I'll try and buy it off you. Don't send me links for them though, whatever you do. I will be on there pre-looking. I've probably already looked by the time you've watched this video. So I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. That one that from that other car was just a no-go. Not one bit of it was the same. But quite clever what Chris done now. I mean, does it surprise us anymore? He managed to trick it into thinking that the window was down by removing the window and got the roof working. And ultimately, if that roof didn't work, would it have been worth doing? Probably not. In fact, definitely not worth doing because that's probably really expensive as well. Like I said, we found one second-hand window regulator and it was like 500 pound for a second-hand thing for a 58 reg car. Absolutely unbelievable. So we do hope that you're enjoying the content lately. There is plenty of it and a variety of mixed stuff as well. You know, we like to change from one car to another car to another car. And I think all the time that works, we're gonna continue on doing that. So if you do enjoy it, please do it that thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. And of course, it shows your appreciation. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. This is one of the That's Enough Waffle t-shirts. Very, very popular. Like, subscribe, and share on all your social networking sites. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.